guys, it's Jane. We're back on uh, continuing our series of Let's Make a Journal, a uh, scrap or art journal or a combination of both. And I wanted to show you uh, where I am in my progress. So um, the last time we had uh, discussed this, I had painted and collaged it with papers and used my Dremel to cut this so it wasn't just straight across, give it a little bit of... Um, a cuter look to it and then I went ahead and started working on the inside so as I had told you the last time I was going to add some ribbons because I didn't like how you could see the the seams where um, I joined the different papers together so I went ahead and hopefully you can see this in the frame let me move it closer I made some flowers out of ribbons and tool and I added some little um pearls. I actually got these pearls um, from Frank Garcia Studio. Um, and then I added a little bit of um, glitter ribbon as well. So I, I added that. And that's why I cut this part out up top here so that when you're looking at the album you can actually see the flowers peek up through. And, and I did end up covering this uh, board here, I remember the last time we talked, um, I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but I decided to go ahead and uh, I put down some ephemera pieces and then I added a little uh, gold paper clip. I put a um, pearl bead on there and then I made two little tags. Here's one. I just put some glitter and ribbon that's gras grain ribbon and then it's just one of the cutouts from the collection and then the back looks like that so I did that one and then this one I just added a tiny little piece of embroidery thread I kept it simple and I used one of my eyelets and then I um, just paper clipped this piece of paper which is another cutout I started on this box down here and what this box is going to end up I want it to look like is a closet door. Open it up. Her purses are hanging in here and then I did um, there is like a map down in there. I don't know if you can see it good. Um, so I did um, make one of these um, travelers notebooks. It's the 2 by 6 size. Um, Christian at Christian's Crafty Adventures has a tutorial for it. Um, if you're interested and you can't find it, let me know. I can see if I can find the link for you. So what I did was I added some gras grain ribbon to tie it. And then basically um, you just open it up. And you can put um, ephemera or pictures or whatever you want. I haven't decorated any of it yet. And then I want to add some other things because the box is big enough that I can add other items in there like I could keep a, a journaling pen in there and some ephemera pieces that I might want to add to pages um, I could put those in there as well what I did was I just got a piece of paper which go ahead and link it below it's really easy to do but I just wanted to show you so you can see how you have to cut out the little like pizza slices so that everything you know goes together properly it's gonna measure six and a half inches this way and then this way it measures um, three and a half inches and this way I said was the six and a half and then the height of it is about three inches so I'll leave all the measurements for how I made, where I made my score lines, if you want to follow mine, um, or you might know how to make the box yourself. So basically when you fold it all up, it kind of ends up like the one that I have in there. It ends up like this. I folded these over into here and I put another piece of paper so it gave it stability so that when you close the closet door, it's actually two thicknesses of paper, plus these um, I used as reinforcement pieces. The art journaling, if you want to use it as um, a regular scrapbook, you might want to set things up differently and not do signatures. You might want to actually 
put like waterfall sections in or or flip opens however you want to do it but I just uh, use signatures just, uh, so I'm going to be doing journaling in here and set signature and then what I did was I um, used the we are, we are memory keeper book binding tool um, which comes with the all and it has um, I can show you real quick what it looks like it's this uh, this one right here so it comes with instructions and everything but there's um, a diagram so you know where to poke the holes and stuff and it does come with the all it comes with some wax string which I did um, use for this one but you can buy more too so I did that on all of them so there's the one and then this is the other signature on um, this one the paper um, on the inside looks like this. What I did was I added a strip of black paper and a strip um, from the collection because I wanted to give it like that leather type of look to it. So hopefully you can see it. And then I stitched it on my sewing machine. And the last signature I did, um, I did the same thing with this. I added um, a piece of black paper and a piece of the... Uh, small trim piece from the collection and I stitched it on my sewing machine and then this one I added an actual flip inside of it so this flips open and then it flips open again so you could put um you know either pictures in here or ephemera or little journal notes that you don't want anybody else to see um, whatever you wanted to do and then that's where I'm at with the journal um so basically it's pretty much finished now um like I said I did add the elastic in here um to hold together um my signatures um, I'm probably just going to add some beads to it um so I'll probably just post some pictures on Instagram when it's all completely finished which it's almost done um because there really isn't anything else to show you how to do um it's pretty much you do what's your style and what you like. Um, so that pretty much concludes the tutorial portion. Um, so if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you the best I can. Like one, you know, I'd love to see it. Um, just let me know in the comments. And you have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.